pop quiz time. Oh! But it's civics edition. Okay. You ready? Bring it. Okay. Which branch of government can declare war, Lisa? Is it the executive branch, the judicial branch, the ex legislative branch, or any of the above can declare war? I think it's Congress, so it must be the legislative branch. Ye the answer is? No, we don't have the answers. <laughs> oh, we don't have the answers. Oh, I thought we were just, I thought we were asking. Okay. So Lisa, how many senators does each state have? One, two, three, or four? Two. That is correct. That I know off the top of my head. The fact that the president can issue pardons without oversight is an example of an executive order, checks and balances, separation of powers, or none of the above. Okay, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's an executive order. I think you're right. I think it is an executive it order. It is an executive order. Well, our next guest is uh, actually shaking her head, yes. These are the kind of questions found on a U.S. citizenship test. And a recent Woodrow Wilson Foundation study found that the majority of Americans would fail that test. Ooh. Fortunately, civics education is getting a boost thanks to local organizations like the U.S. Chamber of mm -hmm. Commerce. Now, Carrie Bunting is the president of the Worcester County Chamber in Ocean Pines, and she joins us this afternoon. So good to see you, yeah. Carrie. Hello. Hello. <laughs> good job. Good job. Oh, oh thank you. Right? Yes. You get an oh, yes. A plus. Yeah. <laughs> but I have to ask you, does it surprise you when you hear statistics about a majority of Americans not being able to know that or not knowing that. Sadly, I don't think it's surprising, but it's very depressing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's disappointing. Yeah, especially in an election year, it's fed at us, thrown at us mm -hmm. nonstop. So we really need to educate our students and let them be educated adults and voters, for sure. That's very true. And a great way to do that is through the National Civics Bee. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, in uh, 20. Uh, 2022, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce Foundation started the National Civics Bee. So what they do is they contact all the state chambers and say, this is our program, help us feed it down to the more regional chambers. Mm -hmm. And then um, chambers apply to be a part of the, the program. And this year we were selected uh, at Worcester County Chamber mm -hmm. of Commerce in Ocean Pines. We were selected as the very first chamber on the Eastern Shore shore and the only one this year to provide this program to our middle school students. So it's a competition where the uh, students write an essay that gets judged, 20 uh, get picked, mm -hmm. and then those 20 students do a spell uh, civics bee, like a spelling bee okay. competition mm -hmm. yeah. in person, and three winners from there go to the state level, and then the state champion goes to the national level in D.C. So it's, it's such a wonderful, exciting opportunity for our middle school students. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So have you have you had any response from educators in Worcester County about the opportunity to do this? Yes, we've got the Worcester County De uh, Public School System has signed on Worcester Preparatory as well as Most Blessed Sacrament. But this just it isn't just for Worcester County students at all. This is for any Maryland residing middle school student. So somebody in Haverty Grace could apply to toward this competition. It's anyone in Maryland and there's only five chambers in the whole state providing this and we are one of them and the only one on the shore. So it's homeschoolers, private school, public school, only recommend, uh, the only requirement is that the child has to live in Maryland and be sixth, seventh, or eighth grade student level. So if you're watching this and you live, say, in Salisbury, you they can contact you and they can be a part of the National Civics Bee. Yes, they can. I would encourage those students or parents to contact the Worcester County, the Wicomico County Public School System and ask the whole system to take part. We are trying to uh, get all of the local school systems to to commit to mm -hmm. this as well as the public uh, private schools and any homeschooler network out there but if a student uh, if a student school doesn't uh, uh, promote the the program they can contact us directly and get involved in the competition why do you think it is important for it to to uh, target this age of, of students, middle school. Mm -hmm. This age, you know, their little brains are going all over the place, but they really are starting to get that foundation of what they might wanna do in the future or 
might want to be in the future? Do they want to be a person that's always voting, always paying attention to the issues? And it being an election year, as I said, it's being thrown at us constantly. So this is the perfect time for them to learn a little bit more about what they're hearing on the news all the time, what their parents are talking about. Learn about that and engage with the system. And then they'll become thoughtful voters in the future and maybe some future politicians. Who knows? Ooh. We could be talking about the next president of the United States we coming could. from this. Yeah. We could totally be uh, getting that person into our competition this year. That's yeah. wonderful. And of course, we'll have information on how you can get a hold of Carrie and the, the uh, chamber. Mm -hmm. so that your child or possibly someone you know can get involved. Thank you so much, Carrie, for you coming in welcome. and talking. This is exciting. Keep studying. Yeah, I will. Yeah, we will. <laughs>